we need to define sine theta um, in order to analyze the energy data. We have this potential energy plot and the kiner kinetic energy, and we have total energy. Okay, and this is the equation that we're using for that. We're using potential energy um, equals mass times acceleration of gravity times x u naught minus x times the sine of theta plus the uncertainty because we're not so sure about the value for sine theta and multiplied by 1,000 to bring in um, bring the value into millijoule range. Now to get that sine theta we want to measure various height at different positions along the incline. So if we mark a position on the track, not literally please, don't mark the track, um, record the value on the track, just the x value that sits on that meter stick that's already on the track, and then from that point measure the height. Record those values here for height and x, and then go down the track and find another value for x and its corresponding height. We want to find 10 of those along the track. Now with these two values right here, we can calculate sine theta. So here's the formula, absolute value, taking these two data points to find sine theta. But we can find sine theta between these two, between 6 and 9. Or we could find sine theta here between 6 and 10. All of these values in green are different values for sine theta using similar triangles based upon this data. Now after you've taken all your measurements, you want to very carefully look at the numbers to see if any of them are wildly off. And I see a number here, 1, that's very different from 0 0.04. And I double click here and see that, oh, it happened between these two values. And so I want to retake these measurements to make sure that I have consistent values with sine theta, because I think I did a mistake when I took these measurements. So when I remeasure re things, I found out that, oh, yep, I did a mistake. Um, somebody shouted out in a room a different number and we wrote that number down instead of our measurement. I don't know what happened, but we remeasured and these are the correct values. And now we can see our sine theta is 0 0.0496 and our standard deviation is at the third decimal place. Okay, so that's the precision level right here is the 5 um, at the third decimal place. Now I've found the max sine theta and the min sine theta by using two standard two standard deviations from the average. And I'm using two standard deviations because two standard deviations tells me that most of the data should fall within that. Like on the order of 98% or so of the data should fall within two standard deviations. So I have minimum sine theta simply being equal to the average minus twice this number. And the maximum, I have the average plus twice plus the two times the standard deviation. So that's going to give me a good value to, sign, to use for um, average sine theta. And then I can vary it by this much using these two numbers, 0 0.061 or 0 0.039 or any number in between these two decimals. So I'm going to use those values here in the calculator. Um, but we'll talk about that in the next video.